I've really been looking forward to this next interview. The ever-changing landscape of artificial intelligence makes it challenging to keep up with it and to create laws around it and for it. So in an effort to stay ahead of the AI curve, one lawmaker decided to head back to the classroom. Democratic Congressman Don Beyer is earning his master's degree in machine learning at George Mason University. He says this will give him that edge, that advantage that he needs to create laws for us surrounding the evolving technology. What a novel concept. Joining me now is Congressman Beyer from Virginia. Congressman, good morning. Hats off to you, sir. I mean, wow. How's juggling classes with your already busy schedule? Marky, it drives my schedule crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to get back and forth. And I do miss classes because I haven't wanted to miss a single vote in order to go to class. So you get my priorities straight. Yeah. Uh, well, I just, I can't. It drives my wife crazy, though, because <laughs> I'm up so late at night. Yeah. Well, how much longer do you have in the program? How, how much longer do they have to be driven crazy for? It's probably four more years because I, I, I only have managed to fit in one course per semester, and I think I have 11 courses still to go. Wow. Well, I'm just I'm so impressed by this. You're getting a master's in machine learning. At what point did you decide that this is what you wanted to do and also needed to do? You know, I was curious about it for a long time. You know, I'm one of those people who loves doing crossword puzzles and math puzzles. Uh, and I didn't think I ever had an opportunity to do it. And then I realized, hey, they would actually, if they didn't admit me, um, that I could go. And, you know, I'm, I'm the most privileged member of Congress because I actually live right across the street, from right across the river from the Capitol. I'm not on an airplane for many hours every week going back and forth. So I get to take that plane time and actually devote it to studies instead. Yeah. Well, I was reading you also read uh, books about geometry in your free time. I mean, you, you sound like a, an avid learner, uh, a forever learner. Not to, you know, you don't have to name names. You don't have to throw anybody under the bus. Do any of your other colleagues have any any idea what's going on with AI? Oh, I think so. Jay Obernolte, who's a Republican from California, actually has a master's in machine learning and a PhD in, in AI. Ted okay. Liu, a Democrat from California, was an undergraduate computer science major at Stanford. There are a couple that are really pretty good. Bill Foster, who was a PhD physicist out of Illinois, um, is a good guy. But generally, their political science background or history background and uh, we need to be there to help everybody else understand. Okay, that is comforting to hear some of those names. Hey, now that you're learning a lot more about the advancing technology yourself, does AI scare you or impress you more than before you started school? What's your take on it now? Uh, I'm more impressed and more excited about it, Marky. I think it's going to change our lives in positive ways in so many that we can't even anticipate. Just the breakthroughs in medicine every day are astonishing. And where do you see AI in 10 years, in your crystal ball? Where, where are we um, with this technology? I, I don't think we can, we can overestimate how much it's going to change our lives. And, and our job on the Hill is there will be downsides. Um, you know, people's jobs will be eliminated. Uh, we have, we're dealing with deep fakes right now, perhaps even worse than political advertising. And so our job in Congress is just to deal with the potential downsides and celebrate the upsides. Yeah, well... Um, I, I feel more at ease knowing that uh, you're in the classroom learning about it as you're helping shape and mold laws surrounding it for all of us at home. Congressman Don Beyer, really interesting. Best of luck in the rest of the program, sir. We'll check back in. Thanks, Mark. You very yeah. much. Have a good weekend. You as well. You as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.